New shooter coverage of InterB 2022 is sponsored by Atlas Lens Co. All right, so Matt here for newshooter.com at Interby 2022. I'm at the Fujifilm booth, and now we're looking at the new 25 to 1000 PL box lens. What can you tell me about it? Well, uh, th this is uh, the first of its kind, a native PL mount uh, box lens, so it's giving us focal ranges that were never seen before from a native PL mount lens, from the wide 25 all the way out to 1000 mil. And it's bringing all the, the technology of a box lens into this world. Optical stabilization, um, and, you know, uh, speeds that we've never seen before. This lens starts at an F2, it does ramp like all box lenses, but you're an F5 at 1000 mil. It does have a, an expander in the turret, so we can expand the image circle. Here we're showing it on the Sony Venice, uh, shooting in 6K 17 by 9, and we're getting full uh, full coverage, uh, no vignetting there. If you leave it in the 4K mode, that can then act as an extender, so we can extend our focal ranges by a, by a factor of, uh, uh, of 50% uh, at, a, at a cost of one stop of light. Where do you see this lens being used? You know, we're seeing a ton of adoption of the cinematic look in live, you know, be it live sports, live concerts, live event, multicam. Uh, we're seeing multicam bleeding into, our, sorry, the cinema look bleeding into all kinds of different multicam from game shows to talk shows, cooking shows. Uh, we're seeing that everywhere. One of the things that's been missing is the longer focal length with the speeds that you need. Sometimes these concerts are, are darker, aren't lit real bright. Sporting events often go into the evening where you need to have that kind of speed when you get out to those longer focal lines. So this is really changing the game and enabling the use of those, uh, those cameras in a lot more of the positions. Now this must have been a real engineering challenge to obviously create a lens with this much glass in it that can cover S35 and also full frame with the expander yep. in there and also keep the weight down. Uh, I guess that's a, it's a real fine balance of getting all that rough stuff right. It most, most certainly is. You know, the, the target was to make sure we kept this under 30 kilos. Obviously it's big and heavy, it's not going to be a handheld lens, but it still needs to be manageable by the crews when they set this up. Uh, so there is a lot of uh, a lot of engineering that went into it. The, the, you know, it, the, the teams here in Japan put a lot of work, a lot of effort. There, there still are the laws of physics within which we need to work, but yeah, it's it, it's very manageable and it's giving the performance that they need out there in the field. And when's this expected to start shipping? We're going to see the first ones hit the market uh, before NAB uh, 2023. So in March, uh, March of 2023, the first ones will roll off the line. We've got the two, first two working units here. Uh, they will, uh, one of them will make their way to New York next month for the SVG Summit uh, in Manhattan. Uh, and, uh, and we're going to start getting this in front of people so they can really see, uh, see the performance and start to think through uh, all the creative ways they want to use it.